Hi everyone. Good morning, my YouTube family. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to my channel. It's really a big deal. If you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please subscribe, like, and share my video. This morning, I'm going to talk about how did you manage rejection and um, what did you do with your heart break? When somebody breaks your heart or somebody disappoints you, what lessons did you learn from it and how did you manage it? What I want to say this morning is that being rejected or being abandoned or whatever, it is not a big deal. Why I say so, it is not a big deal, is because you are the author and the owner of your life. You are the one that needs to manage your life. Nobody else. You are the one that needs to select people that you allow into your life. That is why I say it is not a big deal. When somebody leaves your life, it doesn't mark the end of your life. At times, it marks the starting of your life, of which most of you don't know. You confuse everything for because somebody leaves your life, you feel unhappy, you overthinking. Why are you overthinking? That is just one project that has problems. One project of your life and not all. That is the marital or the relationship aspect of your life that have a problem. But many of you, you will mess everything up. Because somebody leave your life, you, you, you stop working, you stop living your, your best life, you overthink every day, you can't take your bath, you can't eat. Wake up and pack your stuff and get ready for life. That is just one chapter of your life that has an error of which you have to work very hard and get your life back. I didn't say you should work very hard to get that person back because people that live your life, they don't want being there before. But it was you that didn't know how to really ask them to leave. Because you didn't know how to ask them to leave, maybe because you have a low self-esteem, you wasn't happy, you didn't know your worth, you were just overdrained by the stress of the relationship, thank the universe for giving them the courage to leave you. Because you are going to prepare yourself for greatness. You are going to prepare yourself for the best that is yet to come. Many breakup, many rejection really open the way for the best for you, for the best job, for the best man, for the best echo. Because many of this relationship, they normally take away the best from you, the best job, the best, best friend, friends that can connect you to the next level of your life. But many of you don't know that some relationships are better separated than being together. Because at the end, some, some men or some women are with you. Even if they are not violent, they are not beating you. Many of them are draining you emotionally, financially, spiritually. You are being drained because you can't think properly. That is why you should be happy for any rejection that comes to your life. I don't care how many babies you have. I don't care how many men you have been with. But this rejection, you have to use it as a point of contact, of possibility, possibility into your life. You don't have to worry, start looking for pastor to call because pastor is going to ask you every bit of your problem and they are going to pray on it. They will never help you because they see that you are in a moment where you need a rapid response and they are going to take advantage of every bit of your weakness. That is why you have to know how to manage your rejection. If you call anybody, they are going to take advantage of your re rejection, of your pain. That is why you have to call it a quit. When a marriage, a relationship pack up, call it a marriage. Don't use that same stress to destroy your job, to destroy yourself. Just It is just one part, one part of your life that just pack up. Nothing more. It is just one part of your life. It doesn't have to affect your job. It doesn't have to affect your circle. It doesn't have to affect how you treat your children. You just have to call it, okay, this is the side of the marital aspect. Let me pack it up and uh, see what I can do for myself.